Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to Banjo Kazooie. We're returning to Freeze Easy Peak. Last video, we played Santa Claus, did some CPR, climbed up a giant snowman, and we actually got a lot done. We also lit up the beautiful Christmas tree. So, I'm actually nearly done with all of the stuff on the ground in this world. The last thing I just want to do quickly before we do our transformation, because we're actually going to do that uh, in this video, is I want to go and I want to go visit our friend Boggy. We need to find out where he went. He said he was going to do some sledding or something. So we need to go find out where he is. Because you guessed it, there's going to be more mini games. I think he's over here, right by where he actually fell. Ah, oh, yes, hello, Boggy. How are you? Hello again, buddy. I'm waiting for someone to race me. We'll race you, numbutt. Sorry, you're too big for my sled. I can only race someone smaller. Okay, so I just thought I'd point out where he is. And we need to somehow make ourselves smaller? The only way I can think of doing that is to transform. So we're actually going to do our transformation in this video. I'm going to fly there because I'm too lazy to walk. And there's too many hazards in the way that I don't quite appreciate. So I'm just gonna gingerly fly my way over there. I guess I can beak bomb and make it a little bit quicker. There we go. Get this extra life on top of Mumbo's hut. You can also use the wading boots in water so you don't get hurt. It's kind of like anything that you walk in that would hurt you normally, you can use the wading boots for. Um, so, we could do that, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to use our transformation, which I'm pretty excited to see. Ooh, some notes up here, too. Hey, there's all sorts of goodies in Mumbo's hut today. There's some notes, there's a Jinjo. Thank you. And we only have one more to find, so. Let's transform. Using 15 Mumbo tokens. Man, he's charging a lot. And we get turned into a walrus, oh my god. Banjo gone all fat, got big teeth. Burr, burr. Aw, now he's making fun of us. I think the walrus is really cute. It's got the big teeth and the big eyes and the walk is, or not, I guess he's not really walking. His waddle, I guess? I think his waddle's adorable. That's just me though. I need to collect some more notes. As you can see, just like with the crocodile, the walrus is indigenous to Freeze Easy Peak, so you can actually go ahead and you can walk in the water without any kind of danger of getting hurt. And we also have all 100 notes, so no more note collecting. We've taken care of that. And I think we are now a little bit smaller, although it, it doesn't really seem like I'm smaller. It seems like I'm bigger than what Banjo and Kazooie would be, but you actually do need to transform in order to race Boggy, so we're going to do that now. Hey, Mr. Walvers, fancy a race? Hop on the sled if you do. Well, I don't really fancy a race, but I have to do it anyways, so let's do this. If I can hop, hop, on, sled, get, get oh my god. Really? Are you serious right now? There we- oh my god, that was awful. Great, now all you need to do is steer your sled through the red slalom gates and beat me to the end. Got it? Three, two, one, go! Alright, so this is a race, obviously, against a boggy. Um, as far as I know, he's kind of just computer... Like, the computer kind of made him to just kind of keep up to you. So if he's behind you, he'll speed up. But if he's um, ahead of you, he will uh, slow down. Now, unfortunately, I missed a gate. So if you miss a gate, you actually have to start over. Okay, so we need to try this again. So let's just hop on the sled and give it one more go. I, I don't know why I'm having so much troubles with this. I really shouldn't, but he keeps like pushing me out of the way, which is really irritating. So if you can kind of get ahead of him, then it's a little easy, but if he's following like right beside you and he keeps pushing you out of the way, it's really obnoxious because it's really hard to steer and to get around his fat ass all the time. And then he'll pull ahead and egg you on like, oh, this is so easy. You're going way too slow for me. 
but I'm just going to try and focus on going through the gates. And hopefully by the end, he'll be behind me. And I'll be able to beat him. There we go. You can see he's kind of catching up, but then he kind of slows down as well. Oh god, this is so curvy. You're really not racing very fast. Let's see if I can jump ahead of him. Oh yes, there we go. Get a bit of a head start, and the race is almost over, so I hopefully will be able to beat him. And there we go. I win! Oh, you're too quick for me, Mr. Walrus. Here's your medal. I reckon I need to race someone my own size. Okay, so we've done the race as the walrus. Go ahead and collect our jiggy, which is our seventh one. And now that we've done that, we're gonna see Waza! Wow, another walrus! Take this! But watch out for a smelly brown bear and his ugly bird partner. Aww. Words hurt, man. Words hurt. <laughs> so, we get our eighth Jiggy, and now that Waza is, ha or he has his guard down, we're able to actually enter his home. And we're able to see what his, what his house looks like. Why, hello again, Mr. Walrus. Feel free to have a look around Waza's cave. Aww, I feel so bad. He's so ecstatic that there's another walrus, and we're not even... Like, a real walrus. Sorry, Waza. Let's go down here. Seeing as how we can do this as a walrus. And... Come over here for the honeycomb piece that we need. The second one. Try to avoid the ice cube because... Unlike the last transformation, we can't defend ourselves. So we'll just hide behind these icicles, and you won't be able to find us. I don't think there's anything else to collect. I'm just going to quickly get out of here. And the walrus is kind of short-lived, because we're actually done with the walrus. There's really nothing else to do. Um, mostly, you want to unlock Waz's cave, because as you can see, there's also a Jinjo up there to collect. We need to come back as Banjo and Kazooie to get that, because we can't jump. And you need to race Boggy. And those are only really the two things you need to do as the walrus. And then, of course, there's some notes to collect, and you can go in the water um, and things like that. But it's kind of sad, because he's a really cute transformation, and it's a really cool idea. I like that they kind of utilized a, a walrus in a world like this, where there's so many hazards and things like that. So, those of you who like the walrus, I'm sorry, but we're going to go and we're going to transform back. And we're going to collect our final two Jiggies. We need to raise Boggy again. And then we need to go and collect that orange Jinjo from Waz's cave. And then we will be able to get out of Freeze Easy Peak, actually. So, transform us back, please, Mumbo. I want to be the bear and the bird again. Thank you very much. And I'll be seeing you later. Not in the, in the next world, actually. Which is kind of sad, but later on. They don't give you any time for, this, for these boots, so we're just going to kind of walk across quickly there. And we need to go back to Waz's cave. I think we can just go around. Get some life energy while I'm at it. I have seven extra lives. That seems so, just so overkill. And I, hopefully from here I'll be able to jump over. There we go. And I'm going to have to go and scare poor Waza. I'm sorry. I just need to get this orange screaming thing. Eek! The bear again! Take that noisy orange thing with you and leave poor Waza alone! Well, that's what I came to do, Waza. Aha! And there's the elusive ice key. We'll come back and see what that is all about later. It was like a little uh, Easter egg in the original Banjo Kazooie, which um, there's a couple s swap and stop and um, bonus sort of things in this game, and it's 
better implemented and easier to do in the Xbox version, so I'll probably go ahead and I'll do all that stuff later. But I'm not going to worry too much about it right now. For now, I just want to get out of Freeze Easy Peak, because I think we've all seen enough failure. Or at least I have, and I want to get out of this world. So... Hey buddy, fancy a race against Boggy? Press A to accept or B to chicken out. I accept. So, we're gonna do this, however, we're actually not able to do this yet. So, you can see there's running shoes, which you've seen before. Um, we've seen them when we went to go race Mr. Bile with the um, crocodile, but we weren't able to use them. We don't have the ability to use the running shoes yet. So if you try to actually um, run just as Banjo and Kazooie, it's actually physically impossible to win against Boggy, which is a shame. Um, he doesn't have another sled. I guess he doesn't have another sled like big enough for us, which is kind of annoying. And I just pressed A again. Ugh. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to press B. I was just skipping through his dialogue too quickly. So yeah, so Boggy's a little quicker this time, and he expects you to keep up with him. But you need to, to use these running shoes that we don't have the ability to use yet, which is kind of a bummer. So this is the first world that you actually have to um, come back to and get your final jiggy. So that's kind of interesting. So, if I go ahead and I check my view totals, I think I've gotten every single thing except for the last Jiggy and Freeze Easy Peak. So, um, we have to come back for that Jiggy, which we will do relatively soon, actually. It shouldn't take us uh, too long to grab it. And other than that, we're pretty much done. We've got all the notes, all the honeycomb pieces, and we are ready to get out of here. Thank God! So let's do just that. But we will return to the frozen, wintry, snowy wonderland at a later date, so... Move on out, Banjo! And we're back in Grunty's lair. There's also a Sir Slush here, throwing stuff at me as per usual. Like a total asshole. So, for now, I think what we'll do is... I will open up some note doors. I am able to open this one. There's 350 notes required, and I have 500, so you can see these note doors are getting more and more and more. Which is why it's good we're getting all 100 notes in all of these worlds. And we're able to open up the next world. There's our next portrait is actually right here for our next world, which is going to be Gobi's Valley. So there's a lot of pieces missing, so we're using a lot of pieces. We've got 31. Now we've only got 22, so um, it took us like nine pieces to open our next world. But we are definitely cruising through this game. That's our sixth world now. Um, and we already know the location of where that is. I didn't really show it off, but I'll show you how to get there. I think I have a couple more minutes though before this video gets super lengthy. So. I think I'm gonna go talk to Brentilda, if I can. I'm not gonna bother op opening up that note door, because we don't need to go there yet. When the back of Grunty's hand whelps your butt and you'll hardly stand. Oh god, wrong button. And she's just getting lamer and lamer with the rhyme. She must just be getting bored, like she's just like waiting for us and nothing's happening and... She's just like, ah, what kind of rhymes can I use? And her book of rhymes is, like, completely running out or something, I don't know. Let's hop up on Grunty's hat. I presume this is Grunty. And there's another Brentilda up here, so let's talk to her. The disgusting Brentilda has rat bagels for breakfast. Ugh, that is really gross. Then she usually has slug stew for dinner. Yuck! War bags and finishes with cockroaches and cream for dessert. How horrid! Oh, you poor dears, your energy is low. Let me fill it up for you. That's better. Ah, oh, thanks, Brentilda. You are such a nice lady. Yep, now we know what Grunty eats, we know what she wears, and uh, we, we, we could, like, publish Grunty's autobiography at this point. But I think that's all I'm going to do in this video. Um, we will go to the start of our 
world that we're going to go into next, though. It's actually back here. Um, and that's what we need the waiting boots for. So we need to go over here and get the waiting boots, and then we can travel across the dangerous, treacherous way to get into our new world. So, you can't travel in hot sand either. There's a lot of stuff you can't step in in this game. And I made it. In the sand, there's, I think, snakes? And plus, it's way too hot for Banjo's feet, or Kazooie's feet, for that matter. So, yeah, our next world is going to be Gobi's Valley. So, we're totally flipping sides. We were in an ice world, and now we're going into a sand world, which should be kind of interesting. So, hopefully you guys are looking forward to that, and hopefully you would join me next time. Thanks for watching, and I will see you later.